Can you actually see that? Now that's commitment. Hello and welcome back with another The Orwell Reaction. Today we're going to talk about the 8th uh, episode of The Orwell Into The Fold. But before I jump in, can you see that? <laughs> I used to have a Star Trek poster up there, but I changed it on Honor The Orwell. Well, this episode was rather special in many ways. First of all, we got to see two characters uh, who didn't really get that much screen time, let's say, um, developing and, and getting their own really big episode in this, in, this, uh, in this last adventure. We started the episode with Dr. Finn and her kids, and she never actually mentioned anything about her family ever since the series started. So it was really interesting to get to know her character from a very different angle. Um, you know, the mother, uh, not just the sheep doctor. And obviously we got this other character in this episode, Isaac. Well, Isaac has been present um, from the very beginning of the series, but he never really got a big screen time, a big story. And actually in this episode he got a really adorable role and a really adorable um, a character development as well. Because we got to know a lot about him that I never imagined we were gonna get uh, this soon, this early, and this much uh, about his character. Well, the story was really simple in this episode. Um, Dr. Finn and the kids, they're going for a um, holiday while the Orwell is in, you know, getting a refit or, or an upgrade. Lamar wasn't really able to go with them because he had to, um, you know, over overview the um, whole navigational system upgrade, while um, Isaac was um, available to actually accompany the doctor and um, the kids to go to this trip. Well, uh, the kids, you know, behaving how they are behaving, and uh, Isaac actually had a really good comments, and and I was laughing so much on that little segment uh, that they had on the shuttle at the very beginning before everything started to happen, and they fall into this uh, spatial rift. Or should I say glory hole? Yeah. This reaction is PG-13. So they fall into this rift, and um, basically they end up uh, thousand light years away, and they have to actually land in a nearby uh, moon that was actually suitable for humanoid life. The shuttle broke apart and they actually ended up uh, separating from each other. So Dr. Finn was on her own, uh, unconscious, and uh, Isaac and the kids were in a different part of the uh, moon. The whole episode was really special and interesting, as I said before. Uh, special in a way as um, we got to see Isaac in a really different environment. Uh, and I didn't really know Isaac has emotions. Isaac has emotions. I didn't know you can drive mad an android or an artificial life form in his case, but that was really interesting. I didn't really know he has emotions. I know he was always lacking of understanding humans and understanding humor. Getting to know his species uh, with the interaction with the kids, that was just something truly uh, remarkable. And um, I really enjoyed that little banter uh, between them and even be between Dr. Fina and Isaac. It was something really innocent that Isaac said at the really beginning, like, okay, well, if we have someone malfunctioning, we just you know disassemble them or dismantle them or you know basically just get rid of them or upgrade or whatever but you can't do the same thing with kids honestly I never enjoyed myself this much um, in in this episode than the whole series of the Orwell and if you following my episode reactions you know I enjoy all of the episode uh, because Orwell is just getting not just getting better it's good so obviously we have uh, Dr. Finn who uh, been saved uh, and um, she's kept in a place that she wanted to ask and everything but her host basically not as friendly and he doesn't really you know communicate with her in a, in a friendly way so it was um, actually interesting to see her point of view as uh, she being kept captive although there was something that I noticed she had difficulties uh, with at the really beginning she had a troubled face when she found this knife and I knew there's gonna be some uh, difficulties um, of her personality plus being a doctor she uses the knife to stab the guy and um, she even shoots the guy Obviously, for a doctor, it's always a bit difficult to actually use a weapon and, you know, kill it and, and end the life because you're supposed to heal a life, not end the life. But I think in her case, it was really understandable because um, it's rather them or her. And um, first off, we don't really want to uh, lose Dr. Finn. And I think Dr. Finn didn't really want to uh, lose her kids either. So, and that was a really interesting side of Dr. Finn as well. Maybe I'm looking too deep into this, but, you know. During the episode, Ty got uh, poisoned by the uh, by the water, and uh, basically, when they went back to the Orwell, Doctor Finn was able to find a cure for this um, illness that that actually the people in this moon was uh, suffering from. It was really interesting to actually see. Uh, okay, uh, Kelly and Ed, they actually said, okay, we're going to send a, a ship with medical supplies, and you know, to try to help these people. Um, 
you know, to survive and to basically cure and help them. Which actually raised a couple of other questions. Why do we want to go there? Because we didn't even know this species and why do we want to interfere with them? Um, but that's another story for another day. And the last scene was the highlight of this episode between Finn and Isaac when Dr. Finn actually went down to, to Isaac and um, and she just told uh, Isaac like, okay, I really want to thank you to, you know, to, you took care of my kids and um, you have to know they, they really look up to you. And, and even Isaac said at one point, okay, your kids are annoying and they, you know, they need uh, parenting even more. Not, not with these words, obviously, but Isaac said a lot of negative things about the kids and but the end he said I'm quite fond of them um, and Dr. Finn said okay welcome to the family I never felt that much emotion uh, watching an episode from the Orwell as I, I felt this much um, it, it really talked to me in, in, a, in a really deep emotional level. I'm, I have a feeling a lot of you actually had the same feeling. Um, I'd really love to know what did you think about this episode, so let me know in the comment section below. Before I wrap this episode reaction up, I do have to state I really love um, how Ed Mercer actually becomes a more um, salvy and a more um, a serious captain in a way. Although there's one thing I want to say. When Ed said, we need to get we need to get better people here i i i was shouting like no we don't need better people we need these people we definitely need these people on board the uss orville and we definitely need the orville and i'm a really bit tricky but i have to say um if i had to choose between the discovery and the orville I, I would I would choose the Orville. Uh, although I do love the discovery and I do like um, how they actually discover a different side of uh, the Star Trek franchise, but the Orville, ah, gosh. You see what I said, this is a commitment and this is a really big uh, thing for me because if you remember from my previous videos, I used to have a Star Trek poster up there, but the honor the series, I swapped it over, so now I have an Orville in the in the family as well. So, as Doctor Finn said to Isaac, um, "Welcome to the family." I, this is my message to the Orville and the Orville crew: Welcome to the family. So that wraps up everything to the eighth episode uh, of the Orville into the fold. I, as I expressed, I really enjoyed this episode, and and please let me know in the comment section below how did you like the um, latest episode of the Orville. The one thing that I do have to mention. Um, as recently there was a couple of changes in my life in terms of job so um, I have less uh, time to um, to make videos so that's why the delay actually from yesterday to today um, if I have a chance obviously I'm going to stick with my um, schedule but from December there might gonna be a little change in the channel so um, make sure you stay tuned for more um, news and and update for uh, Trekker Prize. So thank you very much for watching as always please uh, don't forget to like and share the video and don't forget to subscribe to receive all the geekiness every week and until next time live long and prosper.